What are we doing guys? The time is 6.32. This is my video on the Northampton Town players what have left the club. I just want to say Curl I'm gonna curl I'm gonna call him Curly Wurly because he's to be fair, he's done an excellent job with the with the club and I generally believe if we get the right players in he can push us further mid table finish next season for league 1 but yeah oh, it's been a good season for Keith Cow and the players what he has got in in the sense of we had a good season yes oh my god my phone's going off Right, so these are players on currently what have not been given a contract. Now I'm not going to go through all of them because I'll be able because I'll be able all night. But the players who we are going to talk about in today's show is Jordan Turnbull, Paul Anderson, David Carmel, Paul Anderson, David Carmel. And Jordan Turnbull. We're only going to speak about three players and what I think would be the right move for them. We're going to start off with David Carmel. Great, great guy because I met him. Really nice guy. I hope he does well wherever he goes. League One, League Two, Championship, wherever he goes. And the clubs what have been linked with him. Uh, Ipswich, they are in League One. They're probably looking to get out of League One. Derby, who, who we played this season in the FA Cup. And we... We drew to them on... 0-0 on... The, it was a Friday night. So we drew 0-0 to them. That is annoying me. But we drew 0-0 to them. Drew 0-0 to them. Then we lost. I can't remember the score, but we did lose that game against them. So, he's been linked to Derby as well. And then Birmingham, obviously, in the Championship. If My opinion on it is, if David Carmel gets a Championship club, good luck to him. Because he, de he deserves to go that extra mile. In the sense of, I think he can go that extra mile. So, yeah. They are the they are the teams what David Carmel has been linked to. Next player we're gonna jump into is Paul Anderson. <laughs> this is a t <laughs> this is a t he didn't really get much game time at Northampton. Uh, but the clubs what have been linked Carlisle and Knox County. I think he's he can only go to League Two. I think that's the only level we can reach at is League Two. But I know Carlisle or just a mid table side. And I don't even know where Notts County are, no. So yeah, it's like funny one because let's see where Notts County are, shall we? What league? Not so they'll be going into League Two, so I can see why there's interest on them from that because they're a new team coming into League Two. Well, not new, but they went down a couple of seasons ago. Right, last player we're going to jump into is Jordan Turnbull. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh shit, this is about to go off, because I've seen the clubs he is linked to. Now, this is a funny one, MK Dons. Cambridge, Bolton and Mansfield, now that is 
massive. So we're going to start off with Mansfield. Good side. Very good side, Mansfield. I think we lost to them in the current season before coronavirus. Lost to them 2-1. Cambridge, they'll be rivals with us. They'll be in League 2, so it'll be Mansfield and Cambridge are both in League 2. Bolton, they are in League 2. They've taken a step down, but they're a massive club. If he goes to Bolton, if he goes to Bolton, I wouldn't blame him. It's a massive club. Right, this is where I've got a massive argument. I can see where the fan base is going with this one. MK Dons, I'm not, not happy. If he goes for MK Dons, I guarantee where I sit in the West Stand, there's going to be the fans are going to boo him. So yeah, that's the teams who Jordan Turnbull's been linked, or where he could possibly could sign for. Yeah, I think there'll be in the West Stand. There will definitely be some booing going on. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you're a new subscriber. And see you a lot later. I'm out of it.